All right, guys, today we're going to do uh, the game day one. And so what I've done is I've just randomly chosen a job uh, out of uh, one of the, the stacks that I've got and wanted to make sure that you guys know how to do this in, in the way that it was intended. So again, put your first name here, your last name up there as well, put your hour all of them. I'm going to be a fitness instructor. I've always wanted to be a fitness instructor. I was a little chubby kid and you guys can tell that I have really, really tried hard to do that. Okay, now, uh, if you're looking at your paper here, you see that you make $36,840 a year or $736.80 per week. And the problem is, is that we're looking at monthly here, month one. And so how much do you earn? Well, you're going to have to get out a calculator and you're going to have to calculate it up. So uh, the easiest way to do that and, and the most accurate way is to do it this way. Uh, I'm going to do it per week times four. Let's keep the math simple. Let's not get too, uh, too off of it. So we've got how much do I earn before taxes? I've got... $29,147.20. Now, the killer, the taxes, you know, you don't get all of that. you got to get some of it away. And it says that my federal tax rate is 15%. So 15 plus my state tax rate, which is 6% a year plus 30, 315. We're not going to worry about the 315. That's the actual tax rate. So... Over the year, you probably have to pay around um, maybe 40 bucks more a month in taxes than what we're actually going to do. But we're just going to leave it. We're going to leave it at six percent. Leave the math. Keep the math simple. We're just doing this for to show you guys about taxes, not to not to mess with you here. So um, lights went out. So uh, plus three uh, percent equals a total of 24%. So I want to take that 24% and I'm going to try to do something pretty simple here. And it's going to, the math is going to seem weird. But 24% is what I give to the government. It's not what I get to keep. And box two here says, how much do you earn after taxes? Now, if they get 24%, that means I get to keep what percent? But to figure that out, all I have to do is take... 100% or uh, do it simpler, keep it simple, minus 24. That means I get to keep 76% of what I earn. Now, so 76% in terms of uh, decimals, if you guys remember, is actually 0 0.76. Okay, 0 0.76, I'm going to multiply that times my number above. And on how much more? So 29. 47.2. And actually, I'm going to get to keep 23, excuse me, 22.39. And I'm going to round for the pennies here, so that's 87. So that's enough to round down. So that's how much I get to keep. And so I'm going to put this other thing away. Now, from box one and box two, I have my numbers. The next part is we're going to figure out how much we want to spend on things. On the back of your paper are your choices. I gave you some choices just to keep your um, your math simple and, and to limit your choices and, and you don't have to think as much this way. So say that I pick choice two for houses, $700 a month. I'm going to go over here and choose and put down $700 a month. That's how much I'm going to be paying. For my transportation expenses, I um, want a nice car, so I'm going to get a medium-sized vehicle, four seventy-five a month. Utilities. Utilities, you've got somewhat of a choice, but it, it's connected to your house. So I did a small house. Or did I? Yeah, I did a small house, and so i got to pay $180 a month in utilities. So I'm going to write that down. All right, now I'm a fitness buff, and so... Uh, my groceries, I'm going to uh, 
trying to stay off of the, the coffee and the soda, but I'm going to do the, the choice one when it comes to groceries. So I'm going to only pay $150 a month. Okay. Now, investments and savings, I, I like to invest in. So I'm going to put a medium savings of $100 a month. And you know, fitness guys, they, they like to uh, enter, uh, entertain as well as work out. And so I'm going to go for $250 a month and entertain. So these are all my choices all the way through here, as you guys can see. Now I need to add them up. This is all the total. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add from housing expenses down to entertainment expenses. So let's do that. All right, my total comes to eighteen fifty-five per month. Now I'm gonna figure out how much money I've left over. So I started off with the money before taxes, then money after taxes. I'm gonna subtract it from the second box, the money after taxes. And so I got twenty-two uh, thirty-nine point eighty-seven minus eighteen fifty-five. And I get to keep three hundred and eighty-four dollars and eighty-seven cents, which is not bad. I can go back and choose uh, maybe a more expensive car, or uh, spend more on food, or invest more. Uh, you know, your, the choices are yours. So it's your your trade-offs, your opportunity costs, and that's month one of the game.